Hey, Boa Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, it is time to pack up some orders. And I had two items that sold for over $100. Three, two, one. So a couple Bolo items coming your way and then some good bread and butter. So stay tuned for that. I also had a few questions about whatnot. Um, in the comments section of some of my videos. I'm gonna answer those at the end of the video because I know some of you don't care about whatnot at all, but I would like to help those of you that have questions. Also, I do have a whatnot show tonight. I'm doing jewelry, so hope to see you. If you're not on whatnot, there is a referral link down below. You can get $15 to shop. So come on over and hang out. Even if you don't wanna buy anything, just come hang out in the chat. It's gonna be a good time and I hope to see ya. Oh, one more thing. Do you want to see Halloween jewelry tonight? For those of you that do come to the show, let me know down in the comments. Let's get started with what I sold on Saturday and early Sunday morning. Guess what? The Lima Bean Golden Girls purse is now available in my Poshmark closet. So I was over at Whatnot and I purchased this from Commonwealth Picker and I I just couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. I'm like, I can definitely sell that. I'm trying to figure out if this is artisan made. I'm going to show you guys the inner tag and let me know what you think. But if you're looking for a crazy, wild, funky purse, it's in my Poshmark closet. The link, the link is down below. All right, you guys, here is the tag on the inside. I have no idea what it says, so I did not include anything in my listing. If anybody can read what that says or help me identify this purse, I tried Google Lens, I tried everything, and I came up short. So if anybody has any information, please let me know down in the comments. All right, Bolo Buddies, this first item is a clothing item, and it sold for $34.09, and the buyer paid shipping, and I got this at a discount a discount store for approximately $3. By the time I totaled up my receipt, divided it out by the number of items, average of $3. So I'm gonna show you what it is. So I don't sell a whole lot of clothing anymore, not actively currently sourcing or listing it, but I do have a lot that's not listed and a lot that needs listed, I should say. And I have a lot of items that are currently still in my store. So this is what sold right here. It is these Melissa McCarthy 7 jeans. If you guys find these, these typically do well. They are a plus size 26W. I had a whole bunch of these. Again, I purchased them at a discount store and bought a whole bunch. And this is my last pair. So going to be sold out of this style as of right now. All right, that's my money pile behind me. Um, the next item is a bolo. If you see these types of sweaters, definitely pick them up. They can be Halloween, they can be Christmas, they can be Easter, anything holiday themed, pick them up. And sometimes the uglier, the better. Are you ready to see it? We're going over to tote 42. All right, here we go. This is a good sign. This means whatever was in these bags has sold or fell out. All right, so I've got actually two Halloween sweaters here. I picked these up at a garage sale. I got them, I believe it was two for seven. They had, I want to say $5 on each, and I asked them if I bought both. What would they do both for? And they told me seven. So let's take a peek here at this sweater that I sold. Let me get it laid out. All right, here it is. It is a vintage Halloween sweater. And this is what it looks like. That's the brand. It's a size large. And let me show you the back. The back has a black cat sitting on a jack-o'-lantern. And there it is. Let me show you the other one I got that day. So this sold for $108.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And I, again, paid $3.50 for it. It is definitely an awesome time to get those Halloween items listed. People are starting to buy them. I do have this one that is listed as well. It's a size medium. This one you'd have to wear probably just like a black shirt or maybe even an orange shirt underneath it because it's more of a sweater vest and it's just plain on the back. But super fun vintage Halloween items. Get them up, get them listed. If you can find these clothing items, definitely pick them up. The next item is in 
plush tote 10. It's right here on top. It is a bison. It is a plush stuffed animal made by Princess Soft Toys. I paid a dollar for this. I think it was at a garage sale and I sold it for $18 plus shipping. Next item I sold is this pin. It is a Trafari pin. It is absolutely adorable in excellent, excellent condition. And it's Trafari. And I sold it for $62 plus shipping. This was purchased by Pinky's Secondhand Store. Thank you so much again for your purchase. She is always buying awesome stuff from me and I really, really appreciate the support. So I'm gonna link her down below and you guys go give her a follow. She has a fantastic eBay store, so check her out. The next item is a big money bolo and I can't even tell you where I got it. Um, I have been getting jewelry from here and there and everywhere and I have, it just, I had a whole bunch of pins in a bag pulled from all different places. And that's the same with the Trafari pin right here that I just showed you guys. No clue. Here is the other one. Uh, to my surprise, I read what the front said so I could search it that way. And I honestly didn't even catch that it was 14 karat gold at first because it's sideways. And I'll pop up a picture. Um, it's sideways on there and I almost didn't catch it. So thank goodness, number one, for Google Lens. If you guys don't know how to use Google Lens, here's a video that I did. It's a tutorial. It's going to show you exactly how to do it. Google Lens is free and it is your best friend. So go check it out. But um, so when I typed this into or I put my photo in uh, on Google Lens, it pulled up listings that were the same, which gave me some guidance in my search. Now, I could have also typed in what it says on the front, but to get the specific look, Google Lens is great. Um, once I had the information I needed, I searched from high to low, came up with my price. I started this at $249.99 on auction. Somebody came in on day four, or no, with four days left. I had four days left on the auction. They offered me $225, so I went ahead and took that offer. Um, why did I take that offer? Because when I searched solds, they ranged anywhere from people who started their auctions low in the, I want to say, I don't know what the lowest comp was, but I remember seeing some in like the 175 to $200 range, but they also went where two of them went for $499. So I felt like $225 was fair. <laughs> and I was willing to take that. So I went ahead and just took the offer. Could I have waited and possibly have gotten a bidding war? Yeah, there were six people watching it. But again, I felt like $225 was a fair price for this item. So be sure to look at the back of pins because I almost missed it. So this next item sold on Mercari for $18 free shipping. This has been listed a long time. Um, I kind of expected it to be. It's probably a harder to sell item given the category that it's in and I'm gonna show it to you now. All right, I believe, did I get lucky? It's right here. So it says Tyson's Virginia Corner 24A and I think it's a Lions Club and I believe that's a crow. But number one, it's specific to a state and number two, it's Lions Club. So you have to find somebody who is looking for this piece and Maybe it was just somebody that was looking for this bird. I, is it a crow? I don't know what it is, but, or it's somebody that was looking for a lion's club. I have no idea, but this sold for $18 free shipping on Mercari. So this item has been listed so long that it was before I used a background remover and before I made my, had my husband make me this white um, platform thing to put my clothes on as a white background before they had background remover. <laughs> So this is back when I listed things on my carpet. This listing is probably 10 years old. I sold it for $9.92 plus the buyer paid shipping. And I probably had anywhere from a dollar to $3 in it. I'm not sure I don't have it um, marked down. It might be on my old spreadsheet actually, but I'm not going to look. It was a dollar to $3 and it's a pair of swim trunks. So I'm going to show you what they look like. So is this a brand that I recommend you pick up? No, probably not. Uh, 
I probably, I, I'm guessing they were probably a dollar because that's typically what I pay for, you know, brands that don't sell as well. But I will say I had multiples of these and this is the last pair. A lot of these in here are from a PacSun buyout I did. Like these right here are um, Billabong and I probably had a hundred pair of these in all different sizes. Now I will say the size 28 is, I'm pretty sure all I have left and size 28 is harder to sell. So keep that in mind um, for the men's board shorts. I, I, in my experience, have noticed that the smaller sizes have a tendency to take a little longer to sell, but I've also sold a ton of them. So they do sell probably more to teenagers and stuff like that. This is what I sold. They are these U.S. Polo Association um, trunks slash board shorts. So the difference between a trunk and board shorts. Now, lining typically, not all the time, but typically trunks have a lining and board shorts sometimes don't. But these are more of a board short style. They're longer. So I don't know what these are actually defined as. You clothing sellers can put some tips down in the comments, but let me show you what I mean. So like these here are beer pong O'Neill, and you can see it's a board short. There is no lining. So one thing to, good to do, if you are going to list something like this, make sure you include a photo of the liner because some people want this and other people do not. So it's important to let your buyer know if they are getting a liner or they are not getting a liner. So there you go. That's what sold. Uh, I think I told you $9.92 in the buyer paid shipping. And these retail for $44. All right, so this is my little station where I create my bundles. Here's a few cute things over here, some earring backs and different things. But um, this is what I'm working on right now. And I think I'm going to, I don't know if I like these two together, but I'm working on a bundle for tonight, but I definitely want pink because everybody's talking about Barbie pink and how it's hot right now. So I've got some really beautiful pink jewelry. So I'm going to try to pull together a bundle for tonight's show. Hope to see you again at 10, 15 PM Eastern standard time over on Bolo Buddies Whatnot. Use that referral link down below to get $15 to shop. This may be in a separate bundle and I may pull more of this uh, bright blue with it. Ooh, it's so pretty. All right. See you guys tonight. Also have an update for you guys on remember the big money bolo plush and the big money bolo cross stitch kit that both sold and the buyers both reached out to me and said one said I'll make payment by Wednesday and the other said I'll make payment by whenever. Can you hold it? And I said yes, because I'm okay with it. As long as you reach out to me and communicate with me, if you need a few extra days, that's fine. Guess what? non-payment on both. So they are both relisted, but I just wanted to give you guys an update on that because I told you in the video that it sold and what it sold for, but they did not pay. And they did communicate with me, so that is good, but they didn't pay. So it does happen. Even though you get somebody that says, can I pay you on Wednesday? Sometimes they won't. And I reached out to them numerous times before I closed the case as an unpaid item, but I do recommend after the four days, try to reach out to them beforehand before you close the case because sometimes people just forget, life gets busy, and if they don't respond, then after the four days, go ahead and close it out and just relist your item. Okay. Okay, so somebody asked me about Marketplace on um, Whatnot. Yes, you can list items in your Buy It Now on Whatnot and people can organically find you with a search bar. So if I'm looking for a stuffed animal, let's just say a Squishmallow, I just listed some Squishmallows into my Buy It Now section of my Whatnot. So it's fresh on my mind. Let's say I'm looking for a mushroom shaped Squishmallow, which I listed. So if you're looking for that, it's over in my Whatnot. And that's the only place I put my Squishmallows. So uh, go over there if you're looking for some Squishmallows and check it out. But um, I can go into the Whatnot search, just like you go into the eBay search, Poshmark, Mercari, whatever platform you're on. And I can search Squishmallow Mushroom. And it's going to pull up anybody that has that item available and active. Now, if somebody has it 
and it's in an upcoming show, it will let you know which upcoming show it is in. But you can go just to the Buy It Now. Now, here's the next cool thing. If you have Buy It Now items, you can put them, you have to do it though, it doesn't do it automatically. You can put them into your live show. So like tonight, I'm going live at 10.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'm doing jewelry. But I have 180 items that are available in my Buy It Now section. So I am going to move 180 listings into the Buy It Now section during my Whatnot show. And anything that anybody purchases during my Whatnot show, my live show, in the time frame that it is live during the show, will get discounted shipping. So if you have already bought something, it's going to make the shipping cheaper for my Buy It Now item. Or if you purchase a Buy It Now item, it's going to make any additional items you buy have cheaper shipping. My last show, I want to say I probably sold eight, maybe ten, eight to ten items, I think, from my Buy It Now. But I had just stocked it full of Christmas jewelry. So if you're looking for Christmas jewelry, I just listed a bunch over on my Buy It Now on Whatnot. You can see it but it will also be available tonight in my whatnot show, okay? So I hope that answers the question um, that you had. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other important key factors in there. Um, oh, 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 oh. Now, as far as I know, whatnot has not come up with a way to bundle to get combined shipping if you're trying to purchase multiple items from the buy it now section. So if I go into somebody's whatnot in their buy it now and I wanna purchase two things, I would need to message the seller and ask them to create a bundle for me with combined shipping. Otherwise, I'm gonna to have to pay individual shipping as two separate purchases for those items. Does that make sense? So if you go to my buy it now and you want something before my live show, you can request to bundle by just messaging me, all right? And tonight we're doing jewelry. I asked you guys at the beginning of the show, do you wanna see some Halloween items? Any requests, put them down in the comments. Looking forward to seeing you guys tonight. My next Styled by Bolo Buddies show is on, oh, August. I'm like, what month is it? August 13th. And it's a Sunday night, and I am going to be going on at 9.15 instead of 10.15, all right? So it's going to be an earlier show, so make sure you bookmark it and mark your calendar. I just made an amazing Halloween lot. Oh my goodness, it has this necklace that has this huge, massive spider web on it. So go check out those bundles. They are available for pre-bids if you guys... Um, can't make it to the show, that's completely understandable. You can pre-bid, just put in your highest bid. If you win it, you win it, and if you don't, you don't. But uh, yeah, and you can preview the pictures, but I also do an actual live preview before I sell the item, showing you guys each individual piece. So those bundle shows have been a super huge success, super fun. Um, thank you guys again all so much for the support. I hope to see you tonight. And I'm going to try to get at least one or two bundles for tonight ready. I'm going to do that after I finish this video. So hopefully I have time. I have like a hundred other things to do as well. And I got to go ship these eBay items and Mercari items. So um, I will see you tonight. And let me know if you have any questions. And as always, thanks for watching.